I captured something pretty cool this morning with my Nikon camera. Nikon that NASA just happened to buy the rights of. I wonder why that is. But what I captured wasn't the moon, and it wasn't even what was next to the moon, which was Jupiter. No, it's what's next to Jupiter. I unintentionally captured Jupiter's moons. And I do this because there's something up there next to Jupiter, but I don't think they're moons. I think there's something else entirely. And well, Jupiter is supposed to be 500 million miles away from the sun, 500 million. So for us to see Jupiter, the sun needs to shine its light 500 million miles away to this bright light in the sky. And then that little dot needs to have the strength to reflect that light all the way back to us another 500 million miles. It's pretty magical light. But what I want to show you are these little dots and you can barely see them. These tiny little dots are supposedly the moons of Jupiter. Moons that supposedly look like this. This is supposedly the Jupiter moon called Low, and supposedly that's a little eruption that they captured 500 million miles away. But to me, this and this and that little eruption just looks like CGI to me. But Jupiter doesn't look like CGI. It looks like a painting. When you compare it to an actual painting called The Starry Night, well, they look pretty similar to the point where you literally can see brush strokes. They have us convinced that the images they show us are images, actual photos from their telescopes. They're not. They have people so convinced that what they say is fact and truth that they literally put things out like this and tell us that this is real. This is a cotton candy planet that they found. You can go look this up yourself. I am not creating this. They literally put this stuff out there because they think we are so dumb and they just want to mock our unintelligence. So getting back to the actual topic at hand here. What are all these? What are these moons? What's this planet? I don't know. I don't claim to know. I just know what they're not. They're not things you can send a rover to and land on 500 million miles away. They're very close, very close. And in my opinion, I don't know, maybe there are holes in the firmament. Maybe this is where the fallen angels literally came through. Maybe this is a projection up there to cover up the bigger hole in the firmament. I don't claim to know, and that's okay. I don't need to know everything. It's just important that you know what certain things aren't. Because once you know what certain things aren't, like stars aren't burning balls of gas quintillions of miles away, then it opens up your mind to where you might actually live, which isn't here or here. Do you notice how United States looks very different on both of those? Those are both NASA images. And if you can't see through that, then you might need more help than what I have to offer. You might just be stuck on cotton candy land forever. But this is all for entertainment purposes. I know that those moons I saw this morning, they were definitely 500 million miles away and we've sent rovers to them. I know that. This is just to entertain you guys. Entertainment only.